Born in Guelph, Ontario, on November 30th, 1872, John McRae was the second son of Lieutenant Colonel David McRae and Janet Simpson Eckford McRae. He had a sister, Giles, and a brother, Tom. John McRae began writing poetry while a student at the Guelph Collegiate Institute. As a young boy, he was also interested in the military. He joined the Highfield Cadet Corps at 14 and at 17 enlisted in the Militia Field Battery, commanded by his father. He also continued his connection with the military, becoming a gunner with the number 2 battery in Guelph in 1890, quartermaster sergeant in 1891, second lieutenant in 1893, and lieutenant in 1896. At university, he was a member of the Queen's Own Rifles of Canada, of which he became company captain. In 1898, John McRae received a Bachelor of Medicine degree and the gold medal from the University of Toronto Medical School. He worked as a resident house officer at Toronto General Hospital from 1898 to 1899. When the South African War started in October 1899, John McRae felt it was his duty to fight. He was subsequently commissioned to lead an artillery battery from his hometown. This Guelph contingent became part of D Battery, Canadian Field Artillery. John McRae sailed to Africa in December and spent a year there with his unit. When he left South Africa, it was with mixed feelings about war. He was still convinced of the need to fight for one's country, but shocked by the poor treatment of the sick and injured soldiers. On August 4, 1914, Britain declared war on Germany. Canada, as a member of the British Empire, was automatically at war, and its citizens from all across the land responded quickly. Within three weeks, 45,000 Canadians had rushed to join up. John McRae was among them. He was appointed brigade surgeon to the 1st Brigade of the Canadian Field Artillery with the rank of major and second in command. In April 1915, John McRae was in the trenches near Ypres, Belgium, in the area traditionally called Flanders. Some of the heaviest fighting of the First World War took place there during what was known as the Second Battle of Ypres. Here is a reenactment of what John McRae would have gone through in the fields of Ypres and what inspired him to write his poem. The day before he wrote his famous poem, one of McRae's closest friends was killed in the fighting and buried in a makeshift grave with a simple wooden cross. Wild poppies were already beginning to bloom between the crosses marking the many graves. Unable to help his friend or any of the others who had died, John McRae gave him a voice through his poem. It was the second last poem he was to write. During the summer of 1917, John McRae was troubled by severe asthma attacks and occasionally bouts of bronchitis. He became very ill in January 1918 and diagnosed for his condition as pneumonia. He was moved to number 14 British General Hospital for officers where he continued to grow weak. John McRae was buried with full military honors not far from the fields of Flanders. <laughs>